Jesus channel. No! No! Hey YouTube, it is Brie Hall and I'm back with another video today. It's gonna be a fall slash October, November favorites haul because I haven't done one of these in a long, long, long time. Literally, literally. If you follow my channel, you know that I have recently did a beauty documentary this summer documenting just the makeup and the beauty industry and skincare and how many products on the market have terribly toxic ingredients in them. And I've been on this quest ever since that documentary for clean beauty. I've been doing a lot of trial and error trying to also find products that work for black women, especially in the makeup department and all that. But I've been working tirelessly to find things that just work for me and things that I feel comfortable recommending. And that's one of the main reasons why clean beauty is important to me. So as I started my journey, I literally noticed the need on the market just for a retailer that sells clean beauty products. I used to tell my family, oh my I wish there was an online retailer that sold makeup and skincare and everything But everything on the retailer was clean beauty So I didn't have to worry and look over my shoulder and I could just have a retailer that I trust that sells everything and, and already kind of does that pre ground check for me and guys I found it. So I partnered with Folane for this video. I've actually been trying out their site their products everything for over two months now and it has been just a breath of fresh air. I don't know, it means a lot and the results speak for themselves. So, let's jump into it. So, Folane, spelled F-O-L-L-A-I-N, is a site that sells the highest grade, safest, and 100% non-toxic products for beauty and skincare, y'all. I am so pressed. Folane believes that you should not have to compromise your health, taking care of beauty and your beauty needs. So I love that. And all of their products go through a five step verification process to even be a part of the website. So for products to be approved first, they must identify, research, test, validate, and finally launch. Currently, there are 30 restricted ingredients and counting that you will never find in any full name products. And if you look really closely, one of the ingredients, formaldehyde, is something that I'm personally sensitive to. After a lot of my work researching different ingredients, oftentimes they're just not for us for a variety of reasons. Sometimes they make things smell good or add extra lather or bright, vibrant colors, but they're not always the greatest for our bodies. Overall, I'm, like I said, not perfect, but it's just nice to feel like I have a little bit of control and say so in my product choices and whether I want these ingredients or not. So my personal favorite from Full Land right now is their Clean Essentials Kit. I just got back from LA and I brought this with me. Now, it also kinda, kinda matches. Just a little bit. <laughs> that was an accident. I actually didn't plan on that. This kit is kind of a gateway kit for anybody that was like me who is looking for um, just an introduction into clean beauty. You're not ready to dive in just yet, but you want to explore and get a variety of products and see what works for you. I firmly believe, you know, you shouldn't buy full size products until you try different things to really know what works for you before you spend the coin. All right, and so the bag, as you can see, it says, I like my products just like I like my people. Non-toxic, which I thought was really funny. This kit is 100% non-toxic. It's vegan, it's cruelty-free, and it's suitable for all skin types. And another thing I noticed when I look at commercials and stuff and they say, this product's all natural, this product's great for you, and then they're like, not advised for pregnant women, or if you have a medical condition, consult your doctor before you use this product. And then they keep talking really, really fast for some reason as if they don't want you to hear something that they're saying. I wonder why, like houseway, houseway, how? And they say all natural, but is it really regulated? Because it has like 42 ingredients and only two of them I can pronounce. This doesn't make any sense. But they just keep talking and talking and talking and talking like this until you start to doubt them just a little bit, but it's too fast. To the point that you actually kind of believe it and you end up at the store with the thing that they said they were going to promise you, and then all you have is side effects and you just don't know why and it just makes no sense. So I'm like, if it can flare up your medical condition or possibly harm a baby or a fetus or anything like that, is it really safe? They even say it's 100% safe for pregnant women. That's how you know it's really non-toxic and it's not just like label mumbo jumbo. So it comes with four everyday skincare products. They're all TSA approved, which is great because it made my job easier when I was going through the airport. Okay, so it comes with the Ocean Cleanser from the brand Osea. It really smells like mint and the ocean. This is a mineral rich gel cleanser with algae, vitamin E, lactic acid that gently exfoliates and removes makeup. All right, so the next thing we have is a toner. And this one is from Andy Lee. So this is just something you'd apply to your face after you cleanse and then you follow up with the moisturizer. All right, so this is how you know that like it's real with Fallen because they gave me the Ursa Major Recovery cream and <laughs> this is the brand I use for my face wash and my moisturizer it just shows that like all the brands they give you and I have available are really high quality this is my favorite product in the kit and y'all I swear by this brand like it is the bomb 
and it's super moisturizing. I actually have it on today. I noticed that my skin complexion has gotten clearer and a little bit brighter and my skin is just smoother in general. Um, people on Instagram have noticed I haven't been wearing makeup a lot. It's literally just because my skin's been so clear that I've just been like on the no makeup wave. Even today, I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but I'm not wearing a thick full coverage foundation at all. I am wearing a tinted moisturizer and I'm wearing like a glow bomb that's clear. So like everything you're seeing from my skin today, you can see, you can see like my skin is completely showing through everything. This is a hundred percent my skin. And I just, for context, traveled on eight hours worth of flights from LA, transferring planes, all that good stuff. And I traveled with this and Literally, my skin, when I travel, usually my pores get clogged up, y'all. Like, I get a lot of sebum and excess oil um, from that air pressure change and all that stuff. And as you can see, look at that. The results speak for themselves. Like, I, that's all I can really say. It's amazing. It's amazing. This has been great, too. This is the Folane 100% toxin-free hand and body dish counter dog delicates kids and everything so it's so non-toxic you could literally use it for anything and i've just been using this before i do my makeup to wash my hands and stuff like that it smells like oranges it's a really fall scent and it just it smells so good y'all i'm just excited about being able to give you guys some alternatives for your skincare partnership or not like i really firmly am just happy with this company and i'm so impressed with everything i've tried and i keep getting impressed over and over and over again thank you following for partnering with me on this video the first 100 subscribers will get a clean essentials kit for only 22 dollars go to folane.com spelled f-o-l-l-a-i-n.com backslash brie hall to try your own clean essentials kit click the link below and enter Enter promo code Brie Hall at checkout. Well, you guys have asked me a lot of questions about this particular thing, so it's gonna be my next favorite, and it's my contact lenses. Everybody on Instagram, etc., has been DMing me, Twitter, everything about what contacts I have in. Little backstory: in college, I broke my glasses, and I just never went to get them again because my eyesight's not terrible. But I kind of just took the plunge and decided to go get my eyes measured, tested, and get a new prescription for contact lenses. So these are the Air Optics in Hazel, and it just brings them out a little bit more i have really big eyes too so i feel like that little pop of color makes them even more dramatic so i love that i highly suggest i used to wear those little costume contacts when i would do tutorials and some fit great and some were really uncomfortable and i didn't know why and that's because they are all types of different sizes so the ones that were comfortable turns out they were actually closer to the measurement of my eye and wearing the wrong size of contacts can actually in the long term damage your eyes and they're so comfortable y'all like when you get your eyes measured and get contacts that fit perfectly for your eyes oh my gosh it's amazing and i can see everything i know that sounds crazy but i called my mom I'm like mom seeing is really like that all right now on to food okay so i've been cutting down on coffee a little bit but my holiday favorite starbucks drink right now is the peppermint mocha served hot so it's like a peppermint hot chocolate i substitute it for almond milk because i don't really drink dairy or consume dairy anymore that has helped my skin a lot and then i get an extra shot of espresso in there and let me tell y'all it gives you the feeling of drinking hot chocolate without the bubbly gurgles that milk may cause. This is my favorite seasonal drink from Starbucks right now. My next favorites category I'm doing is books right now and I'm a super bookworm. Like I've been a bookworm since I was a little kid. It's <laughs> it's crazy. Kids used to call me a nerd and stuff because I'd be reading all the time, but still has not changed. All right, so I got a big old stack of books <laughs> that I have to recommend for y'all. If y'all just want a video dedicated specifically to books, I can do that too. All right, so the first one, I got this, um, and it's called Get Over It. <laughs> and it's um, thought therapy for healing the hard stuff. And it's Jan Le Van Zant. Um, I'm a person who just, for the sake of being like an empath who likes to help people and all that stuff, for years I've really kind of blocked my own emotions out and just put them on the back burner, stuff them in a closet somewhere and just haven't dealt with them. So this whole year for me has been about really unpacking everything and just coming to terms with things from my past and my childhood and just trying to heal the past a little bit more so I can have a brighter future. Cause it has started to affect me a little bit. You can only suppress your emotions for so long before they start to like naturally just come out. That was Get Over It by Elon Van Zandt. Oops, I almost dropped everything. And then my next, 
one that I am going to do a podcast on iTunes for. If you have not followed my iTunes podcast, it's at Zaddy Re Radio. It's all about mindfulness, self-help, self-improvement. So if you're trying to just grow and you don't have time to necessarily listen to a YouTube video all the time, it's really great to just throw on while you're cooking, cleaning in the shower, getting ready. Like, yeah, so I'm about to talk about this book on my podcast, Talk to Yourself Like a Buddhist by Cynthia Kane. And it's five mindful practices to silence negative self-talk. Um, fun fact, I've been going to the Buddhist temple in my area quite a bit for their seminars, which are like really amazing. And the seminars are just meditation based. So um, each one has a theme. So the one I just finished was guided meditations on self-love. And um, it was so good, y'all. Like I never thought I'd be able to meditate and um, remain meditating because I have such an overactive mind. And um, it's been so helpful that I did not think it was possible and they made it possible for me, someone with just a mind that's on fast forward 24 seven to just sit for an hour and a half and reflect on a topic so beautiful as self love. So it has been great y'all, it has been so great. And this next book, I think y'all are gonna find so funny. I posted a quote from it on Instagram stories a little while back and everybody was like what book is that and it's the 20 something guide for getting it together and y'all <laughs> i don't really think this book has an age specific um guideline because it is hilarious and i think no matter what age you're at if you need to get your ish together this is a great book i'm only on like page 25 i just started this one but it's already had me cracking up and then the author is mary Traina boom and i suggest this heavily because it's a light read it's really um easy going it's got like nice little color coding i don't know if you can see that it's like and it's got um lots of jokes and it's really relatable so it even talks about like netflix and all sorts of distractions for anybody i haven't started this one yet but i'm really excited to as you can see i've got a lot of books i still need to finish so I just have a stack constantly ready so when I finish one I could just jump into the next one like binge watching Netflix a little bit. Learning to Silence the Mind, Wellness Through Meditation by Osho. And as I said, I've been really getting into meditation. So I've been reading books and finding better ways to just apply this uh, practice. I haven't gotten consistent with my meditation yet. That's something I'm still working on is trying to find that consistency and that balance. Um, the best way I found to do it, honestly, has been just um, playing a guided meditation in the shower uh, because that's a, a designated time where I know I'll be doing nothing but simply showering. Like I won't be multitasking. Um, and it just, if anybody's really, really busy like me and you haven't quite got that routine of meditation down, I highly suggest just like shower meditation because it's just, it's relaxing. Showers are already relaxing for me. So like when you combine the meditation with the hot water and like the steam and the smells of organic soap, like it's just, it's everything. So <laughs> that's something you can do in your mornings or evenings. The next one is, <laughs> as you can see, I overthink a lot. Hence the titles of these books is, I thought it was just me, but it wasn't making the journey from what will people think to I am enough. And um, as you guys know, I've been all out here with the crazy hair colors and stuff. And I've made a very big change. As you notice, my hair has been kind of neutral. My makeup hasn't been over the top. I've been kind of neutral. And some people might take that as, oh, she got boring. But I'm like, bro, I am probably the happiest I've ever been. I've unpacked so much emotion. I've gone through so much. I've gotten stronger. So like my, neutralness is a way of saying I don't need to like be loud in all of my wardrobe and everything I still love hair color I still love all that stuff but it's kind of like I don't need all of this to be loud to feel seen or at peace and I think me being neutral kind of has been an expression of like my strength growing honestly so now if I if I do a crazy hair color or I wear some wild stuff it's purely because it's fun for me and it's not because it's like armor and I'm trying to distract from the things I haven't, you know, worked on in here. And this one is um, literally be about just how much time we spend trying to please other people when we should just be pleasing ourselves. And um, 
and just being enough in who you are so have not started this one yet either this is on my to to read list but just off reading the back and the chapters let me read some chapters to you about like for the table of contents i just knew it was going to be a good book sometimes you can just tell um let's see so the chapters are understanding shame shame resilience and the power of empathy um, recognizing and understanding our triggers, practicing critical awareness, reaching out, speaking um, shame, practicing courage in a culture of fear, super important, compassion in a culture of blame, connection in a culture of disconnection, creating a culture of connection, and those are just a few, so cannot wait to read these. And then the final book I'm going to share for my Fall favorites is Women Who Think Too Much by Susan Nicole Hos. Oh wait, I don't want to butcher her last name. Hoxema. I don't know if I, I said it properly, but here is her name right here for people. And then it says how to be uh, break free of overthinking and reclaim your life. So I just I have ADHD, so <laughs> clearly overthinking is something that really does play a large part in my life. And, um, and the anxiety that comes with overthinking can really be very paralyzing at times. So this one is another on the reading list as I finish up the first three books. Um, and it's like, do you stay awake at night worrying about your children's needs? No, but uh, I don't have children yet, but, or strategizing how to care for your aging parents. Do you go over and over career choices you've made? Have, do you have trouble getting over losses and setbacks? Yes. So this is a book just about, um, basically how to get through your overthinking and just utilize um everything for your best whoop, your best self but yeah so this is one of my favorite books and all right so for the final part of this um favorites video i'm just going to share some of my favorite shoe pickups that i've had um this uh that I had for October that I've been carrying into November and um, I don't have the shoes here with me but I'm gonna just put them on the screen right here so you guys can see what they look like. The first pair of shoes that I've really been enjoying is my Alexander McQueen platform sneakers that I've gotten. Um, they give me height which is cool because I'm only like 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, so they make me like look really sky high and I just love that and they're really simple and clean. Love those. And then another pair of shoes that I've been loving season after season, they never go out of style, is my Doc Martens. I have a low-key Doc Martin collection in a variety of colors and they're just so great. One of my favorite shoes because they can sustain themselves through every season. My oldest pair of Doc Martens is eight years old and it still looks wonderful. It's got some wear and tear but it made it look more fashionable to me. And then my next favorite pickup that you guys have probably seen in some of my press kit photos for music is my Chanel boots. They kind of have this patent leather look to them. I love those shoes and they can be dressed up or dressed down so like those are like one of my favorite purchases and they're black. I really go for simple colors with most of my um, high-end shoes because I like to be able to wear them with a variety of fits. So yeah, that ends my favorites video. Hi guys, I'm Vivaly Tiffany and I want to welcome you guys to my channel. Come over and soak in all the knowledge I have to give on hair reviews, beauty tips, some fashion, and just a general look into my lifestyle. I really believe knowledge is power. So come on in and soak up all the knowledge and let's take this journey together. This time around y'all and I have a lot lot more favorites videos to do so if you guys want me to do this on a regular basis comment below and i'll share some more of my favorites with you if you want to do videos just dedicated to one specific topic like books or shoes or makeup let me know in the comments below and i want to see um, what your favorites are so comment below if you guys have a favorite right now something that you're loving it could be food it could be makeup hair shoes anything video games like let us know what you're loving right now and thank you guys so much for watching brie signing out <laughs> no, it's awesome. no, it's awesome.